Welcome to Football Navigator. Join me on this video as we unpack and look at the story of Thomas Mlambo's biography. Here we're talking about his age, wife, parents, salary at SABC, car house and net worth and all things valuable that he has worked hard for. Before we head shot into this video, please subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share the content. When on air, Thomas Mlambo is one guy that will never get tired of watching, partly because of his versatility in sports and professionalism in delivery. Apart from being a sports icon, his dress sense amazes his fans each time he appears on television screens. Right from his early stage, there had been handwritings on the wall that Thomas Sipom Lambo would make his parents proud someday and also become a figure to reckon with. A useful reference is how he won the Transvaal Annual High School Speech Contest that was held in 93 and became the first black student to achieve that feat. His passion for sports also manifested when he was celebrated as a 100 million and first team rugby player champion. The veteran South African sportcaster Thomas is a radio and television personality who has gained much attention based on what he does best. He also commands the respect for many because of his professional approach to sportscasting. At the early stage of his life, he started as a budding footballer for that matter, but due to a knee and injury, his career was unfortunately cut short. Despite this predicament, he is still very actively involved in the sports world. Thomas is impressive, intelligent, and fun to be with. The passion with which he delivers with his assignments while on air is contagious. In fact, this has made non-sport lovers who have watched him develop a passion for it by merely watching his deliveries, narrating how he landed a job as a sports caster. Always loved football and was stopped from playing after I got an injury. I bumped into newspaper articles someday and there was this advert of a company looking for television sports presenter. I said, why not? After six months, I got the reply, and that was how I considered for this job. Thomas explains to the press, while working for Supersport, he became the main anchor for the football properties of Supersport and also hosted different magazine shows. The platform granted him the opportunity of covering the World Cup of 2006 in Germany. Somehow, the right to host the 2010 FIFA Soccer World Cup has his contribution as well. After his contract with Supersport expired, it was not renewed and he had to move to SABC Sports where he started hosting Soccer Zone. While Soccer Zone House Show focused solely on the Premier Soccer League, Thomas started hosting sport at 10 and explored different areas on the show, including a variety of sports and interviews with celebrities. Then he hosted the Daily Sports Show, the Ultimate Sports Show for Metro FM, while done to Thomas Mlambo for the greatest achievements he has had. And based on information available on the news, Thomas is acclaimed to have been born on the 21st of May, but there is no information available about his ex-date of birth. Although we do not have any verified information about Thomas' salary at the time, he was working for South African Broadcasting Corporation. But Andile Nube's salary then gives a clue. While Nube and Thomas were working for the corporation, the former was earning 165,000 rand as his monthly salary. So this means that Thomas' number salary was not the same as what Nube earned before he left, since they were co-hosts, so it should be around that also. Thomas Mlambo was given birth to by working parents. After he sustained knee injury and stepped playing football, his parents challenged him to go out and search for something to do instead of sleeping at home. Besides Thomas owns his schooling to his mother's employers, he was informally adopted and trained in the same school where Leanne Manas, SABC Morning's live presenter, and Darren Scott also schooled. There have been so many concerns, especially from single ladies, on who Thomas Mlambo's wife is. Some also seem to be confused about whether he is married or not. Unfortunately, Thomas Mlambo and his part is not helping. The reason is that in various interview sessions, he kept saying that he was single. After a few years ago, rumor went viral that the sport presenters found love. According to the report, the two lovebirds, Thomas Mlambo and his girlfriend Priscilla, are both in the sports industry. But when Thomas has commented on the issue, he said, why is this a story? I know Priscilla, but it's too early to talk about dating or anything relationship-wise. 
There is no doubt in the fact that Thomas Mlambo is one of the heavily paid sportcasters in the country. Considering this experience in the industry, even though his current net worth is not available to the public, it is certain that he is comfortable and enjoys his job passionately. What has helped Thomas Mlambo so far in his career in his can-do spirit? Even though he had a knee injury that almost prevented him from following his passion, his ability to find a way through and remain in the sports industry is commendable. This attitude indeed proves the point that wherever there is a will, there will always be a way. We all thank the Enable Sportscaster for inspiring the youth and impacting sporting activities in the country.